Hey guys, Ron Anik here at the Black Axe Ranch in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Welcome back to our channel. Just out here uh, doing a little fence check. Making sure everything's all good on the homestead here. This summer has been bad for rain. Um, see, the DNR, they do these larval larvae checks. Uh, kind of gives an idea of how bad the mosquitoes are going to be. And uh, from what I understand, I mean, last year was high. This year, off the charts. We've had nothing but uh, just rain after rain after rain after rain. It's getting to the point where you can't even go outside and do any work. You can't mow a lawn. You can't go out in the woods because of the mosquitoes. In fact, you can see them floating around me here. It's absolutely crazy. The sump pump down in the basement's been going pretty much non-stop, trying to pump the extra water out away from the house so that the basement doesn't flood. So it just kind of gives you an idea of how much water we've had. Been in Minnesota 50 years here now, and I gotta say, this is one of the worst years I've ever seen. The only good news is I haven't seen really any deer flies, uh, which are about 10 times worse than the mosquitoes, but I've literally got mosquitoes all over my camera right now. In fact, if you notice, it's the middle of June here and I'm wearing heavy flannel. I mean like heavy, heavy flannel, almost winter grade. This is literally like body armor trying to keep these mosquitoes off me because they'll bite through anything else. So if this isn't an indication of how bad it is out here, nothing is. One of the projects we've been working on lately is clearing up this area here and eventually over here now you can see all that scrub brush and stuff it's pretty much all dead that's pretty much what all of this looked like here and slowly just going through and cutting that brush down cutting some of these uh lower pine branches off gives the animals a little bit well i wouldn't say a little bit more room but just a little bit easier time getting through you can even see here they they love stripping these pines. Oop, zooming on my hand, not my... Okay, get my hand out of there. There you go. You can see where they strip the uh, bark off these pines here. These animals love pine bark. Get it from the other side here. Might even take a couple of these trees out of here, these smaller ones. Just open it up a little bit more and hopefully get some more grass growing. These guys are really eating that grass down. We are definitely going to have to start rotational grazing. Uh, right now we just have our animals out uh, pretty much everywhere in our pen and uh, they are definitely uh, chewing and nibbling everything down, pretty much down to the ground. So we figure with some rotational uh, grazing we'll section off one, two possible areas and uh, you know close them off for a while, let the grass grow up and then let the animals on there so they have a chance to eat a little bit better instead of just, you know, picking at these these uh, little nibblings here. So that's another project that's coming up. More work for me to do. I mean, this is just an example. This is an area that's normally high and dry. We got standing water all over. You can't really see it over here, but uh, just wet. I know the grass loves water, but you know, it gets to the point where even the grass can't grow, it's just too wet. But even with all the rain and all the mosquitoes and uh, everything like that, not to mention it's been really super humid lately too, again thanks to the rain. There's another mosquito. Ah, they're all over me. Anyway, it hasn't prevented us from getting a couple projects done around here and uh, we're going to show you the main one here in a second. So for those of you that watch our videos regularly, you remember last year we decided to replace our original fence with a newer, better, stronger, higher, man, kind of sounds like the six million dollar man. I don't know about faster part, but you know, bigger and stronger anyway. We decided to bring that fence a little bit closer to the house and that would give us, you know, a little bit better view of the animals and 
know, we realized in the future we would eventually be having people to come and take a look at our animals, people that wanted to watch them, possibly even feed them, and we just needed a better fence that was a little bit more conducive to that. So last year we started pulling out the old fence and we put a temporary fence across and then we started putting in the posts and building the new fence. Now, of course, the cold weather came around and uh, right at the wrong time, but it's Minnesota, that's, that's normal up in this area. And we had to stop work on that, so my temp fence luckily made it through the winter. And now, coming this spring here, going into summer, we were finally able to complete the new fence. Instead of doing five rails across, we did six rails high. Gives us a little bit more height. These posts, unlike the other posts, are actually deeper and they're set in concrete, so they aren't going anywhere. And we used leg bolts instead of uh, like barn nails or just regular screws. We used the lag bolts to hold the rails in place and then eventually, uh, you guys have seen some of the fence completed already, but we also added in a double layer of high tensile wire at the top and that serves two purposes. One, a little bit more height and two, it sort of pulls everything together because our anchor post is actually our gate post or rather what's going to be our gate and we needed that tension in there to help offset the weight of what eventually will be a, a gate uh, door on there. So kind of all around suits the purposes. Plus with that extra height, we wanted that because when you get snow on the ground and they start packing it down, you know, they can be foot, foot and a half higher than the original ground level. So six foot fence eventually becomes about four, four and a half feet and these animals can jump from a standstill up to six feet and we just didn't want to take any chances. And here's the finished product folks, six rails high with two layers of high tensile wire above. Nearly seven and a half feet tall so that'll keep these guys in. One other little addition that we made, we finished the the human access door here or gate. So now we don't have to climb over the fence anymore or crawl through the wires. We can simply go through the gate. Extra heavy duty hinges and extra heavy duty latches. We trim down some of the posts so that they look a little more even and then we kind of round it off the tops of them just to give them a little more of a finished look. Hey Sapphire. So these guys seem to like it. And it matches up with the other fence there. Next step, we gotta get ourselves another feeder. Thor's a little bit of a pig. <laughs> 